Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back to using the Ancient Monkey Mod. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm sorry if you guys are getting tired of it. I absolutely love this mod still. And uh, today we're, uh, we're going to be doing something that I haven't quite gotten into yet. We're going to go for a Paragon. So I've seen people go for Paragons before in this. I've seen uh, 2D do it. And and I've never gotten a Paragon before. You know, I've gotten tier five, uh, T5s and stuff like that. T5 upgrades with the Ancient Monkey. But I was like, you know what? Let's go for a Paragon. So this video is not going to end until I get a Paragon. It's my goal for today to get a Paragon. So this could be a three hour long video. This could be one hour. This could be 30 minutes. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It's gonna take a while. I know that. I know it's gonna take a while. Um, but I'm uh, I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best. I mean, we already got cluster bomb, cluster bomb at the start, so that'll basically get us until pretty late in, uh, probably until like, I mean, early 30s. Um, because the only thing we can't deal with right now is camos, obviously. Never mind. Um, I guess we're gonna be perfectly fine with <laughs> with dealing with camos. Um, uh, MIB. So right off the bat, right off the bat, we're getting MIB. That is, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, cluster bombs just gonna carry us for most of the beginning here. So don't really need to worry about anything else. Kind of just gonna let this thing go. Um. And yeah, we'll see how, how, see what happens. Hope for the best. This cluster bomb is doing pretty well for us. Uh, probably gonna just save up for another ability. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Save up for another ability. That's usually the strat that I like to go for is, you know, save up for an ability. Uh, preferably a money making ability like Elite Sniper, Monkeynomics. Those two are always like the best um, ones to go for, because you know Monkey Nomics, you could you could get Monkey the num Mon uh, Monkey Nomics ability for like, I mean any, you know if you get lucky three you get it for like two thousand. Oh wait, okay we have MIB, but it still can't pop blacks. Interesting. Is that normally how MIB works? I didn't think it was. Whatever, I guess. Um, okay, well, I guess zebras and black balloons are gonna be a bit of a problem then. I did not realize that, okay, airburst starts. <laughs> that solves all of our issues, airburst starts. Um, I don't know how we're getting so lucky. This is actually insane. I, I promise, I haven't changed anything. I haven't messed with anything. We're just getting incredibly lucky with our upgrades, I guess. Cluster Bomb and then Air Burst starts. That is, yeah, that's gonna carry us for quite a while. So we got camo detection, we got lead detection. Uh, Air Burst starts basically carries us for quite a while. Let's get a uh, tech bot because we already got we got the elite sniper ability, so that'll be an early source of money making, which will be nice. Um, okay, just making sure I have like my sounds on. They should add uh, some like voice lines to the ancient monkey. I think that would be cool. I mean, he's he's. I I would say the ancient monkey is better than any uh any uh, hero I mean he is he's he can harness the power of heroes and and banana farms and you know and, and paragons you know like yeah you know, I feel like he deserves his own voice lines at that point but yeah we'll, we'll see how this goes and then hope for the best I mean we we got like I said we got lucky with the ancient monk okay or with the elite sniper 
We got another elite sniper, which will be good. We have a uh, Moab Eliminator, so we don't really need to worry about um, about Moabs, because it can just one-shot Moab, so, I mean, there's not really anything to worry about there. So that's at least good news. Um, and then, yeah, the, uh, you know what, um, the one thing to worry about that I would say that might be a concern is, I guess, camo, camo, anything above black balloons. They're going to be a little issue, a little bit of an issue. Because my only way of popping camo is with the um, what's it called? Uh, with the cluster bomb. So We're gonna need something that's gonna be able to hit camo. Yeah, see, this is the problem. This is what I was talking about. No, no. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna allow myself to retry to continue because. I don't know, I mean, I... Okay, there we go. I'm allowing that because, like I said, I'm not I'm not letting this end until I get a Paragon, so... No matter what happens, we're going for that Paragon. Even if it means I I lose because of my own stupidity at some point, I'm I'm going for this paragon and that's and I'm not stopping until I get it. I need more camo detection. Shuriken, okay, I guess we I guess the shuriken is fine. An MIV. See I wish the MIB didn't just um like apply to like the uh, the weapon that was chosen before you got the MIB like before you got the MIB. I wish it applied to like every every weapon that you get throughout throughout the playthrough, but it's fine. Because it, cause it also is only for abilities as well. So, I mean, it... I don't know. Because, yeah, you can't... It, I don't I don't believe it applies to... No, it wouldn't make sense. Because, yeah, it doesn't apply to abilities either. Oh, my gosh. Um, go with this. Go with this. And go with th that. Okay. Okay, we'll be fine now with camos, hopefully. I'm pretty confident we'll be fine with camos. I mean, our Cluster Bomb and our Shuriken both are going to do a crap ton of damage. And they can both hit camo, so... I have pretty, pretty high confidence in our ability at this point in time. And then, Moabs or anything bigger than a Moab is just going to get destroyed by the Moab Illuminator ability. And we'll be in a pretty good position at that point. I did do some testing, by the way. So it is possible to get a Paragon. I wanted to make sure beforehand that it was indeed possible. And I did get a Paragon. Now, I did have to spend about a million dollars before I got a... Actually, it was probably a bit more than a million dollars before I got to a Paragon. But, we're going to hope that I don't have to... It doesn't take that long. But we'll see. 
we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Okay, we got another carpet spikes. And we got an overclock. There we go. Overclock's gonna be really good. So overclock's gonna be good. Because it's you know it's a permanent overclock basically. Um actually it, it, it's a, it's it's got full up time plus some. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that. Um We really just need to focus on making more money. Because if we can make a lot of money, then we can invest all of that money back into the Ancient Monkey. And hopefully get us to get us to a Paragon sooner rather than later. That's kind of the goal. Monkeynomics, there we go. That's a that's a good ability to have. Because Monkey Nomics makes you $9,000. See, now, it would be nice to get, like, a farm, like, some sort of farm upgrade or something like that, but... Hmm, I guess it's fine. It's not, it's not like it's the end of the world if we don't get some sort of farm upgrade. You know, like, a farm upgrade would be really nice, but, like, I guess I don't really need one, you know? Like, like, you know, just like, but like one farm upgrade, you know, would <laughs> one, one farm upgrade. Okay, come on, come on. You know, like a single farm upgrade, you know, it would be really nice. Even even if I just got one, I mean, like I'm not, I don't, like I'm not trying to ask for much. The the reason I'm so adamant about, you know, about one farm upgrade. Um, the reason I'm so adamant about that is because you know, there we go, there we go. Because the moment you get a farm upgrade, that is, you can start buffing the amount of money that it produces. So, whereas with the abilities, it's like, yes, you're making quite a bit of money, banana plantation, that's really nice. But yeah, it's like, yes, with the, the abilities are going to be making a lot of money. Yeah, that, that, there's no question about that. $3,000 per elite sniper ability, and you get, you get two of them every time you choose it. Uh, I'm not going to go for Hydro Rocket Pods, because that... Oh, Legend of the Night. Oh, wow. Um, but yeah, so you can increase the amount of money that the uh, the weapons produce. But you can't increase, you can't change the amount of money that the abilities produce. So they'll always generate, you know, $3,000 uh, uh, $3, for the lead sniper abilities. And then $9,000 for the monkey nomics abilities. Whereas with the farm upgrades... Uh, farm weapon upgrades or farm weapons. There we go. Um, that you can increase. They do start off at a smaller dollar amount. Obviously, you know, with banana research facility, it's like maybe like cl it's close to like four hundred dollars per crate. But you can increase that. You can increase it. so the attack speed will affect it as well. So it'll generate more crates per round. The um, or bananas, I guess, more money per round. And then you can also give it a uh, money boost. So that'll also, uh, so that'll just increase the amount of money it produces. Um, so I think I'm, I'm gonna be doing that here soon, for sure. Definitely wanna focus on, oh, Superstorm, nice. That'd be pretty cool. I don't think I've gotten Superstorm before. That's actually pretty cool. I never, I've never gotten Legend of the Night either, so pretty excited to see some new tier fives I haven't gotten with this guy yet. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to save up and see if I can get like maybe another farm. I 
I feel like I'm just being greedy at this point. I mean, I was just asking for one farm, and now I'm, like, trying to get another one after I've gotten, like, three or four already. So I feel like I'm being a little too greedy, but at the same time, you know, I want to be making some good money, you know? But, so let's just get, let's just get one more. One more. One more. That's all. I'll, I've all, the whole time I've just been asking for one, but now I know I'm asking for, like, a fifth one or something like that at this point, but... Come on, bomb blitz? Ooh, that's pretty good. And who knows, maybe I'll get the Paragon before I even, like, before I even get another farm. Because at this rate, I'm getting a bunch of tier, uh, T5s that I might even, oh, Plasma Accelerator? You know what, that, you know, wait, that's a T, okay, why is that a Legendary when it's only a Tier 4? Oh, so that's Envelope is a tier 5, right? I wasn't wrong about that? Yeah, I was right about that. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I'm just not part of the, you know, the elite community, I guess. Oh, wait. Is, why is why was there only two things available right there? Is it, is it a Sada or a Dora? There's only two. <laughs> Banana Plantation. Okay. After that, let's go for... Go for attack speed because that's gonna boost the farm. Let's go for money boost. That's gonna so yeah, like I said, attack speed and money boost. Those are the two things um, that are gonna boost the farms. Because the attack speed is gonna increase the rate at which um, bananas and money in general is produced. And then um, let's go for attack speed again. And then yeah, obviously then the money boost is just gonna increase the amount of money that each banana or crate gives. So either way, it's really good. Uh, let's go for the attack speed. Oh, wow. Oh, the spike factory instant money. Monkey, just what I need. Go for that. Go for that. Go for that. So yeah, now now it's up to nine hundred dollars per crate and then sixty dollars per banana. He's already generated almost nine hundred thousand dollars. I think that includes the abilities though. It hurts me to not go for the legendary, but Legendary wasn't really doing anything in terms of generating me money anyway, so. See, now it's up to over $1,200. Oh, it hurts not to go to for the exotic, but just what I gotta do. See, now that increases the attack speed by quite a bit, so that's gonna be pretty good. The other option probably would have been better, but come on, it was an exotic. I that that time I had to go for it. See, now that's really good. That's like that's really into the money making category for that. Almost two thousand dollars per crate at this at this point in time. Money boost times 0.13, yeah, that's pretty good as well. Um, 1.15 times, uh, 0.85 attack speed, I guess I'll go for that. Because, I mean, that doesn't, oh my gosh, look at the super storms. But yeah, that doesn't only affect the farms, you know, it does also affect the attack speed of the, uh, of the ancient monkey itself. So, I mean, I guess that doesn't, it doesn't hurt to go for attack speed. Trying to get to like a pretty insane amount of like uh, money making at this point, but because there is a point where it's like you generate more money than you're spending, but I've only really done that when I've got the advanced ancient monkey, so I'm actually probably gonna do that now. I'm gonna save up for save up the 75k. Get the advanced ancient monkey, 
and then kind of just keep you on the same thing. Um, okay, that's a weird glitch or something. I don't know. Uh, double shot, sure. Yeah, we're just gonna keep trying to save up and try to see if we can get, um, I mean, some more money production or, uh, XXL trap, nice. Century champion, why not? Loon trap, why not? Icicles, sure. Spirit of the jungle, sure. Spirit of the forest, why not? Um, super brittle. Uh, we'll get a Dora. Bloom Solver. See, Perma Brew is, would be good, but I don't think it actually, like, really does anything. Um, Destroyer, maybe? Destroyer, sure. There we go. Glaive Dominus. We got the Paragon. We got the Paragon. And that, it only took until like round 124 or something like that. You know, it didn't take that long to get the Paragon. You know what? Next time, I'm going to try to get every single Paragon with the Ancient Monkey. That's going to be my goal for the next video, is getting every single Paragon. But yeah, we finally got... Um, we're going to turn off Auto Start. So if you can see, we finally, finally got the Paragon. Um, does that help at all for us to really see the Paragon? Not really. Uh, but it's fine. Anyways. My name's Sam. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of BTD6. That only took us 22 minutes. Well, I am, I am surprised that it did not take as long as I thought it would. But yep, like I said, my name's Sam. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It'd mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.